Hey, so welcome back to the channel um, of Known Motors. The rebuild process of the Shop Trucks 13B is about to begin. I got parts in the mail. We're going to do a little bit of unboxing. I got a bunch of rebuild parts from Adkins Rotary and some special Apex seals as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Atkins does such a great job with their packaging. So sweet. We got brand new three window stationary bearings, new rotor bearings. I love making them. Got, I believe these are going to be. Oil control ring, o rings, new thermal pellet, front mains, front seal. We got corner seal springs, corner seals. I believe these should be the side seals. Oh, such a good job packaging. With side seals. Side seals from Atkins with springs. So that's awesome. And then last but not least, one of their complete gasket rebuild kits. And then, since Little Truck is special, we got a GSLSE oil pan gasket. Because we got a toll bay front cover. So that's super fun. That all came from Atkins. I love them. They're so awesome. They're so fast with their shipping. This is the little jewelry I'm extra excited for. I already opened it. Rodia Aviation. I've been talking to Dominic. He is awesome. He's so helpful on the phone. Oof. I'm excited for these. We got some Rotary Aviation Apex seals going in the truck. He and some other people convinced me that uh, these are superior. I mean, they, hell, they go in airplanes, so. Little truck's not gonna fall from the sky if it dies. Airplane might, so. They are, they stand behind their products and these are, these could be awesome. They could last forever. So, I'm super stoked about all of those pieces. So now I have the housings painted and ported and cleaned and cleaned again. Now we get to press in new bearings and then we'll get pack rotors and then we'll assemble and put this engine back in the truck finally. What a whirlwind has it been in the life of Mason and wife and dog. So. We'll hop to it, and uh, we'll cut to probably pressing in bearings next. What you doing? I'm clearancing these brand new side seals, rotor side seals, for our 13B for the shop truck. Oh. So where do those go? These go on the sides of the rotor. And we'll go right here. Oh. And and this little tiny something. And this little tiny groove. Okay. They go between the corner seals. This is my little tool, but this is a corner seal. Little circle thingy. Huh. So these need two to four thousandths of clearance 
between the corners. So since every rotor is slightly different and these tolerances are insanely tight, one must cut down, or sand down rather, each side seal for its actual specific location. And there's three of them? There's six of them. Oh, three, three on this side, side, three on the other side. Wow. So as you can see, I'm getting closer. Um, and then I got my feeler gauges over here. So I'm shooting ideally for about three thousandths. I mean, which is, you know, that much. <laughs> wow. So. Okay. This is what is known as packing the rotors. Doing this process. We're going to be here for a while. Very, very, it's very crucial that if they're, if they're too tight, they will bind when the engine heats up, and then when the engine heats up, it loses compression. If they're too loose, the engine won't have compression, and it will also be difficult to start. So you have to be very precise. Very precise. The, 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 the FSM says anywhere from two to six thousandths. Um, but this engine is naturally aspirated, so we're shooting for two to four. Oh, okay. Because it doesn't have a turbo on it, so it's running lower temperatures. Mm. So the clearances can be a little bit tighter. Okay. But yeah, so I have this, this little jig up here to rough them in. And then I finish them by just sanding them by hand, very gently. With what type thousand of grit thousand, sandpaper? Thousand. Wow. Can it be any more, or would that not be? Probably get by with six hundred, but since I have this jig, I can get them close, and then finish them with thousand. If you didn't have a jig like this. 600 would get you there, and then I would finish them with a thousand. What about like 1500? It'd be too fine. You wouldn't be able to cut enough oh. off, and okay. you would be here for days. Okay. So, but yeah, so there are six per rotor, and there are two rotors in this build. So we have 12 seals. Oh my goodness. To fit today. Okay. And then those circle things? Yes, these little circle thingies are the corner seals. The corner seals. Got it. Mm -hmm. and there are also 12 of them. Okay. Yeah, so this is the fun part of rotaries that has no application to piston engines whatsoever. People don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> Back to sanding. Three days later. It's the same day. <laughs> it's still the same day. <laughs> working on the second rotor now so so I put one corner seal over here and then I got this nifty little tool that has a corner seal soldered to it so I can pull it in and out easy um, but we're sneaking up on this one so the kind of the rule of thumb is if you push both ends in and then you push down the center each end will pop back up and it does so that means our clearance is very very close so then now I'm going to take my feeler gauges and this is this is a thou and a half 
and I can't get it in that way, but if I pull this out and then shove it in there, you can see how tight it is. That's super tight. So we're closer than a thou and a half. So we're shooting for about three. Three is ideal in this scenario. So now I'm going to do a little bit more sanding. Pull it out. But since we're that close, I'm no longer using the drill. I got my piece of sandpaper here. And you want to make sure when you're doing this that you're keeping the seal straight if you're doing it by hand. If you don't have a jig, this is the next jig I'm going to make. Make it straight, kind of keep the same angle, about like that. Keeping it square. really work on that and then you put it back in here same way you took it out slide that dude back in there get my two thousandths out are we there yet yeah there's There's two thousandths. So now we're within the tolerance field. That's tight. Let's see if two and a half will fit. Hey, there's two and a half. So I th I'd say then two and a half is tight. I don't think three will fit then. If it will, it'll be super tight. yeah so we're over two under three so that's 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 tight yeah that's not working so we push there so i think we can move on to the next one now and that's what you do you gotta sneak up on it. Next two, four more. I like the toothbrush. Yeah, I gotta. I was gonna scrub this in the sink one last time. I have completely uh, filed and fit all twelve seals, and now I have put them in this box, very organized, like. I have my rear rotor, that's a C, and my front rotor, that's a D. And every side of the rotor is numbered, odds on one side, evens on the other. So this one is two, four, six. Eight, three, and this side eight. is one, three, five. So I was using those numbers as references to the seal I cut for each groove. Because they're very specific for each. Yes, they are all slightly different, and when you're working with thousands of an inch, it matters. It matters. And so now I have my corner seals for one rotor, corner seals for the other rotor. I have my apex seals. I got these beautiful, beautiful rotary aviation classic seals for this engine. First time running the, the rotary aviation seals, and I've heard great things about them. And the customer service is by far the best I've ever experienced. So we're gonna get sponsored by them. So this is me starting that relationship with them. So now this box is gold. Actually, it's more valuable than gold. Gold's 
is abundant. This is not abundant. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! So, yeah. So close that. And I'll go give this rotor a bath. And we have one more part in the mail, and then we're ready to put back together. Woot. Woot. Woot, woot is right. So I'm going to take this more valuable than gold box over here. <laughs> Gently set it down here. <laughs> Gently set it down. All of the other parts. All of the other parts that we got going on. That'll make this engine go again. There is a lot going on on these two tables over here. So and beyond. There's a paint yeah. product over there. Yeah. All for this guy. Like a ladder. But yeah. It's coming together. Yeah, it's late. I'm tired. I have to work tomorrow. And I need a shower. Cosmo, what do you think? He is covered in wood chips. <laughs> we let him destroy sticks while he's here. Because <laughs> we don't let him do that at the house. <laughs> Alrighty.